Hey guys, how's it going? It's Woody HD, and welcome back to the channel today. Of course, as we have this short period between where FIFA pretty much ends and where it starts, we have of course the transfer window at the moment going on. Of course, huge amounts of money have been spent uh, in the transfer window already, and there's still I think three or four weeks left of it, so there's plenty of deals that can still be done. Of course, the deadline day could be insane as uh, as well. But there's been so many big money deals. A lot of the transfer windows you get, the big deals are done right at the very end. But this season, it seems people have been spending insane amounts of money on players that some of them, I think, aren't worth what they are. But teams are able to demand huge amounts of money for players now, as teams look to desperately improve their squads for the as the upcoming seasons are about to start around uh, around the world. So let's have a look at some of the big deals in this video. I'll be doing another video covering a few more. I will start here with one of the biggest spenders of the transfer window so far. I think they've been taken over by a Chinese company. AC Milan have spent a huge amount of money already. They've brought a lot of quality players in. They are really improving their squad to try and charge for a title which Juventus have been dominating the league over the last few seasons. AC Milan want to get back up on par with them. Of course, they've signed Andre Silva, they've signed Karna Hoglu, they've signed Kessie, but they have signed this man who I think is one of the best centre defenders in the world. That is Leonardo Bonucci, who had a brilliant uh, defensive pairing uh, when he was with uh, Giorgio Chiellini at Juventus. I'm surprised Juventus let him go to a big, big possible title rival. I think it was 35 million. I think he's 30 years of age, uh, Bonucci, but he is still an outstanding quality defender. Brilliant in the air, brilliant tackler, an all-round fantastic centre-back, and he's not the slowest centre-back in the world as well. 35 million, even though for a 30-year-old, that could be quite a shock. That is a I still think that's like a, maybe a bargain because 30 million for a very much experienced international and a solid, solid centre back, one of the best defend centre defenders in the world, I think, at the moment. So, brilliant sign in that for AC Milan, who continue to improve the squad and spend huge amounts of money. Next up is one that I feel needed to happen, which was Arsenal had to get a striker in this window. They've got Giroud, they've got Lucas Perez, who doesn't start. They don't have a top, top quality striker. They haven't had one for a while yet. They've got Sanchez, but he operates more on the wings. So they had to spend big. And boy, did they spend big. A big, long-time target. They've been chasing this guy, I think, for a long time. Alexandra Lacazette, the Lyon striker, who they think they paid 46.5 million. I think it was rising to 55 million. But he could be an absolute bargain. How quickly he adapts to the pace of the Premier League, we will have to see. But he could be firing all cylinders quick. He can score from anywhere. He's a brilliant header of the ball. He's a brilliant goal poacher. He's an all-round brilliant striker. His lack as He did brilliantly for Leon, scoring so many goals. And this could be the man that scores the vital amount of our goals. Arsenal need to finally start challenging again for a Premier League title. You know, as I said, they haven't had an out-and-out -out world-class striker. But this could be the big bargain. They don't spend huge amounts of money, Arsenal. Um, only on rare occasions because Ozil and Sanchez I think are two of the most expensive ones they had but this I think is a clip both of them with Sanchez, Ozil and Lacazette this could be a brilliant uh, front three and what a sign in this guy could be could be one of the top scorers in the Premier League this season but depending of course on how he adapts to the English game well this team has seemed to be just focused on the defence because Man City all in all have already spent about £200 million pounds on this team, we knew that they were going to spend vast amounts of money again. They've got, they've got the financial backing to do it with the owners. And they've gone out and bought a lot of players. I'll cover them. I won't mention them. I'll cover them in another video. But they have signed Monaco fullback Benjamin Mendy, who I think only cost Monaco £7 million a couple of seasons ago. Title winner from last season, of course, winning the French League uh, for Monaco. A brilliant, uh, skillful fullback who can run forward, who can cross the ball, who's got skill. Uh, and pace to match and a brilliant sign. I think he was 46 million rising to a 55. I think he is with the add-ons and everything will be the world's most expensive defender. Uh, I wouldn't have thought he would have been the world's most expensive defender of course as I said all these teams demand a huge amounts of money. Man City went all out and bought this guy. Monaco have lost a lot of big players of course. Bernardo Silva who's also gone to Man City from Monaco. Bakayoko they've lost to uh, Chelsea. Um, but they made huge amounts of money, but Benjamin Mendy, another solid signing to improve that Man City defence, which only, uh, I think, puts them closer to Chelsea and challenging for this season's Premier League title. The last one I'm covering on this video is a very, very good signing. I think Bayern Munich have done some brilliant uh, deals so far. They've signed James Rodriguez, I think, on a two-year loan, which maybe ho hopefully he can revitalise his career. Of course, the World Cup when they signed him... Um, 
and then he started to not play every week and then he confidence went down but he signed for Bayern he probably will start every week but this guy centre mid centre defensive mid Tolisso of course who went from Lyon Lacazette went to Arsenal from Lyon they signed this guy I think for about 35 million a lot of clubs I think including Arsenal were chasing Tolisso a very good box to box midfielder can get forward can tackle can have a good eye for a pass can shoot as well he's an all round brilliant centre midfielder maybe they'll put him centre mid not centre defensive mid but he's a he's a he's a proper proper he works so hard for a team, and this is a brilliant sign, I think, for Bayern. And I can't see any other team than Bayern winning the league again this season. They've got, of course, they bought in Rodriguez, they bought in Tolisso, and of course, this is another big money signing for them. And